We're Sports Center right now. This is Sports Center live. Sanders drive for the tie. No good. Rebound comes out to Hooley for the win. One point six left. Only by one. Uruguay is stripped. And Albany is going to the NCAA tournament for the third consecutive year. You knew when the game was on the line, that man was going to be involved in some way, somehow. Albany found a way to win. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that's how you start Sports Center. Oh, our newsroom was going crazy. Yeah, if we had more people, we, we would have ran on the court, too. <laughs> I know it. But uh, this is Sports Center, ladies and gentlemen. Darren Haynes, Lisa Kearney, Albany. You see, they're dancing with 13 more teams ready to boogie down on the tournament dance floor. Do that dance. There you go. Upsets, buzzer beaters, triumph, of course, paired with heartbreak. Selection Sunday, still more than 24 hours away, but the madness already upon us. The American East Conference Championship, the latest to rock the landscape, a rematch of last year's final. Albany Stony Brook there, Albany coach Will Brown, his 13th season. Here we are just under three minutes to go in the second half. Stony Brook up seven after Carson Purefoy hit that three. He had a game high 23 points. Now 16.9 seconds to go. Stony Brook by two. It stays that way. So Albany with a chance here. Time ticking down. Ray Sanders gets it, waits a second, and then goes. Thinking tying the game, way off, gets tipped back to Peter Hooley. The win! The three! 1.6 seconds to go, and it is over. Hooley's three, the only three-pointer the Great Danes made on 10 tries the entire game. Peter Hooley, the hero, Albany wins at 51-50. They're going dancing in their third straight American East Tournament title. Tim Welsh with Hooley after the game. Explain to me how this happened at the end of the game. Uh, we were just resilient. Uh, we battled and battled. They, they played terrific. Uh, I don't know if you can say we deserved to win off the way we played, but we were never going to give up. And uh, uh, this is special to me. I've... Uh, it's the best moment of my life, and luckily the ball dropped to me, and I let it fly, and hey, when you got angels watching you, anything can happen. We have a resilient group. We've had to deal with adversity all year long. If there's anybody that deserved to hit that shot, it's Peter Hooley. I know his mom's up there watching. She passed away recently, but, you know, this is a real resilient group. If we just stayed the course, we did not play well. Stony Brook played tremendous, and we played more zone tonight than we have in the entire year combined just to try to keep the ball out of Warney's hands. We just hung around. We did a good job at the end. It's what March Madness is all about right now. We welcome in Albany's hero, Peter Hooley, joining us via Skype. Peter, can you hear us okay? Yeah, I got you good. There you are. Peter, that final moment when the ball was bounced back to you, what was going through your mind? Uh, I knew I just had to get a shot off. Uh, I saw 1.6 left on the clock and... Uh, it bounced perfectly to me, and I just let it fly, and luckily I could manage to hit it. Well, congratulations. What a moment you will remember forever. Uh, in the post game, we just heard you alluding to an angel in heaven. Uh, your head coach, Will Brown, also talking about it. You missed several weeks of the season to go home to Australia to be with your mother, who was battling colon cancer, only returned to the team after she passed away this January. Uh, Peter, how hard was it to return to school and to the court, and what did it mean to you to have this moment today with her watching from above? Uh, I mean, that's, our family promised uh, mum that I'd come back so as soon as I could, uh, just to finish off what I started. She got so much joy from watching me play, so I knew I was going to have to come back over here and try and grind it out, and uh, my second family over here really embraced me and lifted me up, and then uh, I struggled all day today, but I knew I was going to keep soldiering on and keep fighting, and... Uh, the ball just fell, happened to fall straight in my hands, and uh, I'll put that one down for mom as an assist. <laughs> Absolutely, and it is a, truly a team, Hooley. Your sister posting these tweets. So, so proud of you, Peter Hooley12. I'm speechless. I know one angel who is smiling down on you big time right now, and if you didn't believe in angels, I think what just happened should prove to you how magical they really are. What did that message from your sister mean to you? 
Uh, it means everything. We've been a pretty close family for, for a long time, and especially uh, four years ago when we found out uh, about mum. We, uh, we knocked us all around a bit, but we stayed together. And uh, she, Emma's a tremendous person, and she's a, she's a tremendous family member, the best twin sister I could ever ask for. And uh, I know that Dad and her were watching it together at 1.30 in the morning, and uh, I've only spoke to them for about two seconds, and all I could hear was tears. So I look forward to talking to them in a bit. Speaking of them watching from so far away, how has that gone this season and how has it meant for how have they been able to watch your games there from thousands of miles away? Uh, they get up no matter what time it is, 4 a.m. They'll be watching every game. Uh, they try and stream it online. If they can't do that, they'll listen to the radio. And I don't think they've ever missed a game since I've been over here. And that's something mum started. She didn't care what time it was or where she was at. She was going to make sure she could uh, follow the game. And she's normally my, always my first uh, criticism text after the game saying what I've done wrong or praising me for things I've done right. So... I got a message from Dad afterwards saying uh, you couldn't have had to leave for the last shot if you didn't want. So it's a, it's a nice feeling, and uh, I just love my family. Glad I could do it for them. Well, that message certainly received from Mom up above. Uh, Peter, last question for you here. From Australia to Albany, New York, how did you end up playing college basketball in upstate New York? Uh, Coach just gave me a shot. He reached out to me and saw I played uh, pretty well in the national championships in uh, 2010 back home reached out to me, asked if I was interested, and I uh, spoke to Dad and said, may as well have a shot at it. I was always planning to go to Division Two, and then when I got here, things just started to flow, and I felt at home, and I uh, love this community. I love playing for Albany, and uh, our legacies have uh, been left pretty great, which is awesome, three-peat, and uh, I'm going to remember this forever. Absolutely. Albany's Peter Hooley joining us here on SportsCenter, the hero of today. Best of luck to you, your family back in Australia, and to your team here in the tournament, Peter. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. MEAC Championship game, Hampton and Dell State. Neither program was expected to reach the championship round, but proved the experts wrong by 